Hey guys, Phantom Cave here with the latest giant, old giant size Phantom Comics episode 3. So today is all about, well, giant size Phantom. Because the latest issue of the Phantom Cave giant size fused giant size Phantom issue came out on last Thursday. So it was a pretty good read and the video should be up today-ish and sorry about the weight on it I sort of had some technical difficulties with the editing part of it and so right now we're having a look at number five of the series and it's Prowling with Paul Wilhelm Portrait of the Storyteller which by Kevin Patrick which this guy he actually created the panther and I think yeah the raven which the raven right now in Giant Size Phantom is very very popular very very popular today as well I think as the panther but not too sure about that one so the phantom phantom of Shingri Ri La there's been a couple of these stories which have focused around the Shingri Shangri La and to me they're pretty good and when it comes into a Car Charlton Comics issue it's even better because it's even better because you get short story but you get maximum art so yeah it's pretty good it's probably only a seven or eight pages story or something like that so Oh, it's a long story today. Long Charlton story today. Oh, there's two parts of Phantom Sh Shangri La. Yep, and there's usually either a monster or a gorilla, like in the that. Uh, Two weeks ago they came out with this, few came out with this new comic book and it was actually, uh, it, that one was good, it was a good story. It was, I uh, had a big gorilla in it, I can't really remember what the name was, but it was very good. Phantom Ranger Valley of the Hope. Now, this, they, now Phantom Ranger, obviously created by few and Hope. There's a bit of mixed speculation, I reckon, that in few lately in their giant size, latest giant size Phantom issue, have they said in, well, Glenn Ford said in the, like the, these things here, that a new character might be coming to the giant size family. So, we don't know who that giant size character might be, but might be some speculation around coming in the few first couple months of it. Hopefully, we get to know what this character is and why, well, obviously why Fuse doing it is trying to keep the few, well, this is what they reckon, few universe. And I do, I do agree with it. That they should have their few universe, but and it's pretty good. But still, pretty good. I'm not gonna argy barge on this too much. Let's get into the well. Let's get into this Phantom Ranger story and have a look at some of its art. Oh, sorry, done. Let's flip through a couple pages. Yeah, I'll say this. I'm pretty sure this story. Oh, okay. That art is well. Usually, is pretty good if you're done. Who's done it? So basically, this story goes all continues on the 2018 annual for Phantom Goes West for 
Phantom Ranger episode, The Chosen One. Basically, this is this story is a follow-on of the episode that happened in in the 2018 annual, which in reality with that annual was pretty good and it's I'm pretty sure a cowboy one or something like that and it's pretty good and but we haven't up uh, people like me have not people like me haven't well few haven't given any clues away of what 2020's annual could be so we'll just have to wait just have to wait why why? Why? Because we have to wait. So this Phantom, the Planet Man stories have been pretty good. I've been enjoying them. They, I haven't seen them around for a while, so maybe. Maybe. And they all, few also said in the giant size Phantom thing, oh yeah, this story, this story, I loved that first page. That first page was mint by Christopher Seguera and artist Massimino Gambole. I loved that first part of it. That was, that was mint. That was what you call art there. And all the stuff up to it and back from it was still pretty good. Adventures of Catman, number three. Catman again. I reckon it's pretty popular. And yet again, is pretty, still pretty good. Stories, very intense, very shocking, very, very good. I could add a very, very good. Uh, Falcon, number two. Falcon stories are always good. Especially when they come across a big ape like creatures like in that story they produced few produced la last year I'm pretty sure or was it this year I think it was last year last year they produced a story similar to this one in Sir, Sir Falcon which was the stone stone people there's stone people and now the raven now this this raven, these raven stories are very, very popular with few readers. And I enjoy them, I enjoy them a lot. Because they're very intense, they're very, very, they get you out of your comfort zone. And they're very good stories, they're very good art, very good stories. And basically what I've got to say about that. And Panther, Panther. Now this story. The character is pretty good, the art is even better, and basically the panther, I love the, well right now I'm loving the panther, and it's pretty good, but does have some similarities with the phantom, but that's okay, that's okay. Uh, another phantom ranger story, now these stories, phantom ranger, in this sort of format, so it strains your eyes a little bit, but still is pretty good. We have the comment section, I think. No, Giant Concerns, Quick History Infused, Giant Size Comic Book. Those were the old Giant Size Comic Books. You can get that at Sunbeams to Sunset. Have not got the book yet, but yeah. It was out soon, and then number six. Ah, oh, yeah. we spent like nine minutes on that book. Pretty big book, but you gotta admit, good stuff, good content, good stuff. So, another Charlton story, and it probably goes for a couple of pages. Yep, told you. But, yeah, again. Yet again, we have see some alien sort of people try and try and well, they're known as Vulcans, so they're trying to overpower the Phantom, but Phantom takes Phantom destroys them basically. I think so. 
Raven number two. I I very much enjoyed this story. I can remember it. I can remember it. Still, it was this story's pro probably got to be one of the best Raven stories I've ever read, and it was pretty good. It was pretty damn good. You saw it was sort of like a crime crime show that you could sh could watch, but then yet again, it was still pretty good. They haven't done this one yet, I don't think. I don't think they've done this one. Oh, they, they might have. I don't know. Can't remember. Shadow Firebreak. Now this story, this story was pretty good as well. Done by I think McPherson, I think. Yeah, Jeremy Perkson, written and drawn by Jeremy Perkson. Actually met him at June's Supernova. Follow Frenzy. I have not got that one, but I've got that one in particular. Right, that one right there. It's right up on this wall right here. Where, yeah, in my bedroom. Because where I do my videos is where in the bedroom sometimes. Herions with bite. Now th this this character people did not like for some reason back in the good old days, but this this vampire sort of character I loved and still pretty good, pretty damn good. I liked this vampire story. If I haven't mentioned it yet. I think we're into, uh, yeah, we're into a Phantom Ranger story. How's that came to be? Probably because I'm skipping through the page pretty quickly. Now these, these Phantom Ranger stories, like I've said before, they are still pretty good. Like I said in the number five, it's still pretty good. The Rise of the Legend. Now these, these stories by Shane Foley... Yeah, Shane Foley and the the art is still pretty good, and the story is pretty good. But yeah, again, Shane Foley is still pretty good. Yeah, Cliff's notes. Already talked about that. Uh, you can get that from the Phantom Comic website. It's still, I haven't got that book, but I've got most of the series in there. So, if you want to subscribe to my channel, go do so. Subscribe down below to get to... We need to get to 1,000 subscribers, but I don't think we're going to make it because of the copper law. And that copper law might affect us. And we, we... Our channel will be running until 2020, and then it will switch over to LBRY. So, like, share, comment down below if you... Love these giant size phantom issues and the stories, the art that's in them for a good price of 10 bucks at your local news agency. Yeah, it's, that's what they cost in these. So, basically, yeah. See yous and keep phantom caving.